And it's finally time to get some titles for a whole bunch of these episodes that were missing titles. And I know it's been a long time, got a lot of suggestions, and I finally, like, I'm hard to please with the titles and stuff like that, but I went in and I picked titles for the vast majority of the ones that were left. And at this point, like, 90% of the episodes almost going to have titles, so that's good. There are still a few that are undecided, and... Even some of the ones that are decided, some of the ones that are decided, I'm not, like, this This is the internet. Like, if somebody comes up with a genius-ass title that's just, like, blows me away, I'll change it. I don't care. So, I'm not saying there's no room to change these at all, but these are probably going to stick because I can't imagine people are going to put much effort into finding super genius titles, and even if they do, I'm so picky. So, whatever. But what we've got here, so the first one, it was untitled at this point. It was all the way up to episode 9. And I think we're actually going to go with Final Safeguard, which is a later entry. But there was a, there were a lot of people, some people wanted the escape from the Temple of Ginneron, which is absolutely like the feel of the episode. But I was like, I, I don't know, just wasn't totally sold on it. And a lot of people wanted puns, sort of, t punny sort of titles based on seven. Like Jumbo Joby was like a tale of two sevens, because you have GE7 and then Draven's Construct 7. Or there was a lot of people wanted the Iron Man thing, which, you know, kind of makes sense, but it doesn't really tell you anything about the episode. I wanted to tell you enough about the episode that once you've seen it, the title helps you to find that episode. Like, which episode was that? It's like, oh, Final Safeguard. That's that's the one where, like, everything has fallen to shit and get around and we got to get out of there. But I don't want it, but obviously I don't want to spoil things when you're watching the episode the first time. And Final Safeguard is pretty general in that sense. That's... So again, but it was a late suggestion that I thought was actually pretty good for this. There were a bunch, there were a bunch of other sort of poignant lines. There was things about sacrifice, and again, all the seven puns, like negative seven, minus one, seven, episode seven, which I I do find it funny to call episode nine episode seven, but that wasn't really going to do it. So thinking with portals, problem with portals, stuff like that. Yeah, we're going to call it the final safeguard, which was suggested by Kareth. There's a uh, yeah, episode 10 was definitely just going to say trolling. That's pretty good. Uh, episode 11, I know it's kind of obvious, and you can tell because an ass ton of people suggested it, but The Hubris. It's a it's a, it's a a good name. It's slightly less direct than The Space Age. I mean, it basically means the same thing. It's used less throughout the series. But I have to level with you. I know Space Age is funny. And players came up with that at the table, and it's stuck. It's stuck like hell, so it's not like we're going to stop calling it the Space Aids in the game. But I'm not titling a video Space Aids, and I probably wouldn't have anyway, and now that YouTube is cracking down on all kinds of things for random reasons or no reasons because of advertising, I don't want to name the episode Space Aids and have them, oh, that's not advertiser-friendly, because it's got AIDS in the title. And, I, <laughs> and the fact is, I didn't want to name it, like, Space Aids previously, long ago, before recent, like, YouTube spazzing about advertising stuff, because I feel that just putting it out there that blatantly and calling the episode that and stuff like that might not be ideal for people who have AIDS, because AIDS isn't as fatal anymore, but it sure is chronic, like you're dealing with it your whole life. So that's, like, in their face, and, I mean, they're going to get it if they watch the episodes anyway, but, eh, this way I'm not inflicting it on them if they just happen to see the video. Um, there were there were some other there were some other good suggestions and stuff like that. A lot of this a lot of funny ones that didn't mean as much looking back. Like funny hand motions wouldn't help you identify the episode later on. The silent invisible elf in full plate. Oh yeah, that might help, but it's still as much as it's kind of funny. And eh. welcome to the team. Well, welcome to the team was obviously hilarious, but since spoilers, that guy doesn't stick around very much. Is kind of meh. I really wish I remembered what the hell that goddamn half orc's name was. Did not even like wasn't written down, had to name him on the spot when he was neither killed nor just like released, which I thought were the two most likely options. But anyway, yeah. So a bunch of stuff about like bounties, angels in laws, cadre of international assassins, you know, fun stuff like that. But yeah, we're gonna call it the hubris, and I think that this is when they first learn about the Space Age. <laughs> and and that's also a little bit more poignant name that the druids have for it and stuff like that. Episode twelve, I'm calling propaganda with a question mark. Um, 
Oh, sorry. Who, su- who suggested the hubris? It was like a lot of people. I had Irati six nine eight, lowercase row, Matt McAfee, Thomas G one nine seven, Alexander Soa, Deep Dragon one. All lots of people. So the next one, I went uh, propaganda, which was suggested by Matthew McAfee. I added the question question mark because I like that better in the, I think in the context of this thing, but. That's about it. And there were about a bunch of other ones about the Kuotoa comics, the Ilu comic books, etc. And, you know, there are, you know, some some solid names, but, uh, yeah, I like propaganda with a question mark. Because, like, is it propaganda? The question is how much of the stuff in those books is true. Oru, also sort of a good name, but I'm not sure that that would mean as much to people. So, skip past. He had a bunch of them that were named there. Then, episode 16 went with the bronze lady um okay that's actually that's a i think that was more of a question mark for me (laughs) in case i wanted to change it (laughs) but it's actually yeah it's uh, the bronze lady not with a question mark and this is of course we found out about little one's mother went to the cave and stuff like my mother is a bronze dragon is a pretty good one there are a lot of ones about that familial ties war and peace bond dragon returns to the nest but uh, the Bronze Lady, suggested by Varanax, Dark Overlord, was very simple and straightforward. Um, Little One himself, like the player, and Marco G also suggested, do you have a tail? Because they thought that was funny, but I think the Bronze Lady is pretty good for that. Then we've got episode 18, we're going to go with Hammer Time. Because why not? <laughs> Because I just I was having a hard time choosing a name for that. The Hand of Sirius, the Basilica, those are nice and descriptive and they make sense, but they're also not interesting. Yeah, a lot of these questions. I think propaganda really should have a question mark. I think these other ones I just put question marks because I was still not super super sold on them. But uh, Hammer Time is suggested by Dracon Wyvern, and it seemed like a pretty solid name for the episode with the with the massive like hammer robot. There are also some, like, Crushing Return, License to Artifice, The Hand and the Hammers, you know, there's some good names, but, uh, or just Vistria, I mean, you know, that's, they, they went, they returned to Vistria, makes sense, but, uh, then we have Good Place, it, there's a big question about which episode to call Good Place, and also, <laughs> it's, it's in the nature of the thing, the name is so obviously cursed, that I almost feel like it's a spoiler to call it that, but it's really not, and I gotta like not be so freaking out about that because calling the episode "Good Place" tells you nothing that you don't he- know instantly when you hear the name "Good Place." You're just like, they are screwed. But there were a lot of other names for names proposed, housekeeping, you know, the empty village. The empty village is actually a pretty evocative name. Corpse Explosion, and there's also some question of what episode to call Corpse Explosion. Is that sort of happening in different places? I don't even remember. I don't think all of them even make sense. I think some of the places it was suggested, I don't remember what episode it was in, but I'm not calling it that. Good Place is screwed, a little bit on the nose, but yeah, I sort of credited this one to Thomas G197, Painful Joy, Michael, and Chip Colot. It was, uh, the name was in some form suggested by them. Uh, some of them may have suggested on other episodes, actually, but so similar. You're married? Question mark exclamation mark is also pretty good. I am a fox. That fox, fox is pretty fun. Episode twenty, I think we're gonna call corpse explosion. I'm pretty sure I looked it up, and that's where the corpse explosion actually happened. But whatever. There's a bunch of the vampire kings, and it's we start finding out more about them. But I don't know if they really the focus of the episode. Race to the grave. Rewards Beyond Loot, Death Moor, this is like Baron Death Moor, The Shepherd's Path, there's all kinds of stuff there, but yeah, so credited that to Ryan Hale and Devatra, but uh, some of these people suggested multiple titles, I don't think I'm just going with whoever's titles I took or took a similar one. Okay, episode 22, for I would still can't decide what to call it episode, there were like two major, major sections of the episode, right? Because they're like, they're going along and they fight Beta, and you get some of this stuff like, grab my wife and fly away, which is a great title. I don't know if I want, I don't know if that's the focus of the episode. Like, I don't know if that's what I want to call the episode. It is a very good title. 
but that like he jumped off the wall that's pretty often pretty awesome and a lot of people like that but i don't know if that was you know to a keeper for the episode name duke smash that little little on nose for that part of golems and kings that's pretty good because that actually covers more like the entire episode but i don't know peace what is it good for peace offer the beta tests godly offerings for beta or worse i'll make you an offer rule of three to see the king clean-minded players wall jumper the better Jimmy, Jimmy the Red Shirt, Math Golem. I like calling it a Math Golem. I don't think that's an episode title for this, but people, people are brainstorming because I left it open forever because I still haven't picked, and I still haven't picked. So if you've got, if you come up with a genius solution for episode twenty-two, or just if you want to, if you think that one that one of these is the one that ought to be it, you know, leave in comments and say I think episode twenty-two should definitely be called like of Golems and Kings or whatever you whatever one you think is like awesome for that so yeah still having a hard time there episode 23 i uh, went with the messenger which is suggested by thomas g197 and knit fine i think that's a pretty solid name for the episode because you know is it's mostly like there's the there's the uh, the diluvian uh envoy and that but the messenger there's also you know it kind of feels like Someone shows up. The messenger sounds like ominous, depending on how you think of it. And it's also the first time that a monitor shows up. And he delivered a sort of message in that he was he did not care about... He was not worried about all that shit around there, those huge golems, the hundreds of guys. He's like, no, no. <laughs> he's like, he's just letting everyone know that he's a badass. And he was not overly concerned. But, uh, you know... There's some other one. You break it, you buy it. Another can of worms, because they also ran into the wormy guy in that episode. That's little docs, but yeah. Messenger. Is pretty... I think the messenger also made some sense for the wormy guy. I think that's part of why I took it, because wormy was also a messenger of sorts. So that's pretty good. That's it for tw episode 23. And they will stop making Graven. Morduval. So 27, we're just going to call Chains of the Vampire King, because that went, they went and broke the shackle, and it's got that, or they, yeah, they were going to break the shackle, they fought through this stuff, they found out a whole bunch of that stuff, and it sort of made sense. Did that one have the bargaining with it? Yeah, I don't think that one had the bargaining, because that one ended on the cliffhanger when the guys showed up. But there were a bunch of them about Shadowfell and the Shallow Skies and stuff like that. Then uh, 28, we go right into Unshackled. I think Unshackled is pretty solid for that, because they broke the shackle, which is not that big. It's not that, that big a spoiler, since that was their mission in 27, and they were in the last room. So, like, okay. But there, <laughs> some other people wanted to be like, we need to name him! We must name it for, like, because they just found Rainbow Dash at the end, or, you know. Those in service to the king, the three riders, burst divinations. There was a pretty kick-ass like and like post credit scene in that one. So twenty nine, we're gonna call the rules, because that's when they found out about the uh, about the way things work in the orc province, Gruul, Untor the talker and his rules. And I I like I like the rules. They're pretty cool. But there there was some other. There were some fun names like Antiques Roadshow, a lot of stuff about the goblins, Gob Hob and Gob. But yeah, this is the uh, Unsha who Unshackled was who did I credit for that? Unshackled I credited to Hakun One, Change the Vampire King, also Hakun One. I don't know, it just worked out that way. Da Rules, Thomas G One Nine Seven, and Fright Night suggested ones resembling that. And then we get up to episode 30, which is another, episode 30 is another one, and I had a hell of a time naming. And I, there's, so, we'll go through, there's some fun one, some fun names. I just couldn't settle on any name for this thing. There's like, Orcs of Uruk, Serious Justice, Orchaeology, which is the kind of pun that I make all the time. That was suggested by Little One himself. <laughs> Probably makes sense, because that's the kind of shit that goes on at our table. It's like, yeah, archaeology, basically. 
Deep Impact, what's the thing that the Orcs were doing, I don't know how, they, Judge Draven, okay, that one's pretty telling that at the end of the episode, Not All Hags Are Witches, Rainbow Smash, Kill Steel, Still Helica, Meet Rainbow Dash, What the Orc is Going On Here, it's an honor thing. Somebody challenges, somebody dies. Draven democracy, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know. Just no name has really like blown me away for that one. Whereas like the rules made pretty good sense for the other one. And thirty one, I think they actually go with Sands of Uruk, suggested by Hakun. But uh, you know, little one wanted to call it Scorpio because this is the episode with Mister Scorpio. Desert Delve, spelt with like to emphasize the Dell. Lay of the land, desert full of math, random random encounter, which it is, but it's not like after the fact. That's not going to help you figure out the episode at all. You know, colossal mistake. I guess that probably would, but you know, underground, other sand, Shai Hulu. You know, I get it. Makes sense, Mister Scorpion. But I don't know. I like Sands of Uruk, even though it's just kind of a generic desert episode. Well, it's generic desert episode. That's where it is. Um, 33, I don't have a lot of suggest. I don't have a, oh, the reason I don't have a lot of suggestions is because, right, it's because the, uh, the title for this one was settled on before, it was Blacklash, because, um, uh, McCall, THB, and Debatra suggested Blacklash, I don't know, I don't know who was first, so I don't track that stuff, whatever, but they, that, they suggested that, and that was such a perfect title that I just didn't record all the other suggestions, put that down. Black. God, God damn it, stop decapitalizing. Black. Flash. Okay. Episode 34. I don't have a lot of suggestions for that one. I don't know what to call it. There was Delta, The Watcher, and Remarkably Bad. That was, that was pretty rough. That was when the stuff first showed up in the Northern Terminus. But then uh, episode 35 is the one we're actually calling the Northern Terminus, which, again, super straightforward name, but uh, Deep Dragon suggested that, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I think Nor I think the Northern Terminus makes a lot of sense. It's actually the episode where you find out it's not the Northern Terminus, but that mean that's more like a double meaning for it. So this is where all the shit, the shit, serious shit goes down in the Northern Terminus, and you find out that the quote-unquote Northern Terminus isn't actually the most northern of the Termini. Anyway, so episode 36, as we get to these higher up ones, there aren't as many suggestions usually. Episode 36, uh, Charles DeWitt suggested one serious trap, which it was, like the death laser, but I don't know. I was looking for more suggestions for that one for making any kind of decision, and I don't have any others recorded. Uh, episode 37, I named it. There is uh, some other people suggested, like the, the most... The most direct path, find the path. Dude, where's my horse? Which is funny, but I went, I went with, I thought of and went with the quest for Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I stole that one. Too lot, too bad. Thirty-eight. Uh, Dragon Wyvern suggested Eldritch Lab. I mean, like, you know what? Eldritch Lab, that's solid. It doesn't give away what's in it. It it does give away what's behind the door, sort of. But and and that was the whole episode was in the Eldritch Lab. So that's that's a fine name for that episode. Uh, episode 39, uh, I have no suggestions written down, well, no, I have two different lists, I have the list that has the, who I credited for them, and the other one, okay, so, hold on, I got no one credited because there, we had a couple suggestions, like, that belongs in a museum, and he's drinking our treasure, and alpha testing, right, two minutes. Cubic tons there. So, eh, this stuff. There's still room to figure out what we should call episode 39. Episode 40, I had pretty much named it while I was making it. Because as much as uh, the Age of Ultron wasn't the, wasn't the best of the Marvel movies, there had a lot of potential. It's also the name of the series of comic books about Ultron, which were, which were not followed particularly closely by the movie. But, yeah. The Age of Epsilon, I like. I thought, I like that as a title. And I can... It's the episode you find out about Epsilon. He's he's doing a thing, and he's also trying to wreck most wreck a large portion of the world. So that seemed pretty fitting. Uh, episode forty one. Uh, Charles Dewitt suggested never split the party, which is such a classic ass name. It's like okay, we got it. We got to go with that. Never never split the party for the episode. And then we get up to episode forty two. Doesn't have a name yet. There were more suggestions for that one. 
Um, apparently, I suggested Home Alone. I don't know. I suggested Home Alone, I guess, but I wasn't sold on it. Uh, we had aggressive negotiations, cloud wars. Oh, my heart bleeds. Angel versus Devils. Shoot the Hostage. Shoot the Hostage is a great name. I don't really want to name the episode that. I don't want to give that away at that point. So I that that unfortunately, I get it. It's a great name. I don't really want that. That one I feel is kind of spoilery in like a bad way. Hostage Horcrux. I think a little bit too weird, but like I I get it. I totally get it. It makes sense. It's not a bad suggestion, but I don't think the point there. Angel of Death. Eh. So yeah, we're still taking suggestions for episode 42, and I was, I actually have a name planned for episode 43, which is not a super brilliant name, but it was, it was subtle and I like it, and then now I'm looking at, I'm not sure, I might end up splitting this episode, which will drive Arrestria nuts, because there's some stuff that she recorded that is awesome that is not going to make it in if I split the episode, but seeing how long it takes, and I mean, it's going to be a 40-minute episode anyway, splitting into two 20-minute episodes, not the worst, so we'll see what that happens, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to reveal the title I had for it now, because the, honestly, my title is not as cool if it's not the big, the whole full thing that I had planned, I would actually probably end up wanting a different title anyway, so anyway, those are some ones, though, the episodes that we're still looking for titles for are number 22, 30, 34, 36, uh, 39, 42, still looking for title there, and, I mean, you could tell which one of these were, like, more firm and which ones weren't, you could, it's some of them, if you came up with that brilliant title, it could be, you could supplant it, but, you know, don't spend your life trying. Anyway, so most of the episodes of Tales from My D&D &D campaign will be titled at that point, and then we'll go from there. Again, leave your title suggestions in the comments there, and thanks for watching.